Hello everybody, um, welcome to my uh, hospital or what I'd like to say is my hotel room. So there's a pretty cool TV over there and a pretty snazzy bed and controller there. Got my notes and journals. So yeah, pretty... So this is where I'll be for the next five or six weeks and there's my view outside the window looking at lovely Manchester. So today's been a f full of firsts. First time I've had a Hickman line in, which is a which is a bloody tube that goes in my chest, under my skin, down into one of the main veins and down into my chest. So they can give me lots of treatments and drugs and bloods and platelets and everything else that I'm going to need over the next four to six weeks um, before I go home. And then the, the, in essence, I'm at a stem cell transfer. It's going to take uh, a couple of weeks worth of, um, so I'm going to have two days of chemo now, and then there's going to be four days of total body radiation. Um, phase one, the doctors or the consultant said the other day, was like a level one. Phase two is like level 10, and phase, or this stem cell transfer is going to be like level 100. So I guess it's a bit like preparing yourself going into battle with Mike Tyson or something like that. So um, it's been a big mental battle over the last couple of weeks um, just preparing myself you know it's pretty hard leaving your family um, you know it kind of hits home how serious this is and how important uh, life is and living every moment and appreciating it and appreciating everything great that you've got around you now you know there's my little ones over there saying bye to them at school this morning I have to say was bloody difficult you know um, saying bye to Fiona just a while ago um, she came and dropped me off it was bloody hard saying bye to my sister um, and everybody I know they can come visit but it's a fairly sterile environment I'm in there's the double doors there and positive pressure making sure that it keeps all the bugs out so anyway um, this is day one uh, I've just had to have some other drug that I had to breathe in through a nebulizer. Felt like smoking a hubbly bubbly, but my goodness. <laughs> so anyway, I'm sure this next couple of weeks is going to be full of firsts. Um, and I'll try and keep you posted, whether it's by writing or video or whatever. Um, and I will get better. You know, the outcome here is to focus on the fact that I'm going to be cured 100%. 100% cure is what the aim is, um, and that's what we're going to get. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting home to my wonderful house and my wonderful family, um, and the extension that's hopefully will be finished by then. And my brother will be donating his wonderful stem cells on Thursday next week. So two days of chemo, four days of total body radiation. It's about half an hour, 40 minutes in the morning, Monday, and then a half an hour, 40 minute treatment in the afternoon. Um, and I do that for four days and then Adam's stem cells are introduced into my body and then my job is to accept them and in theory that should be it but there's potential crossroads and blockages along the way uh, that we have to work through uh, lots you know it's quite a complex process so go and enjoy yourself whatever you're doing um, go and enjoy the Friday go and enjoy the weekend um, and I miss you all a lot, and I will see you on the other side. Take care.